Squad Familiar, we back again, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. We got a gothic chick trying to justify her body count. Mm-hmm. You know what I realized? It was the other gothic chick who had a thousand bodies or probably more than that before with all the tattoos. I've come to realize that the gothic chicks are the freaks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like this video though, man. Click the links in the bio in the description, man. The website is up now. Y'all been asking, and I ain't been. You feel me? Y'all foul. And follow me on Instagram, Dollar Sign Souls, and follow the Squeeze Reaction page. Send your request there, and we knocking it down, man. So listen, I'm jumping into this video. Let's see what she's talking about. Why is why would having a big body count like? Indicate that you were not a good person before exactly. you became a changed person. Because that's the whole you, point we're making. It well, doesn't. It Whatever you're gonna say, it doesn't. You lack. It doesn't. How are you gonna ask a question? I mean, because I know what you're gonna say. What, what are you gonna say? What? You know, I can't say it. Go ahead. No, no, no. no. What am I gonna say? Tell him. So there's say? like plenty of things you could say. It indicates that you have a lack of respect for yourself. <laughs> that you don't go for men that respect you, etc. Things like that, right? Well, it's a lack of temperance in this okay. as well. Sure. So irresponsible. Right. Which, if this is going to be the mother, the mother of my children and my wife, I want someone yeah. that's responsible, that understands discipline. Because so, Anna, if you have a body count of 300 people and yeah. you had sex with every single one of them with a condom and you were taking, like, a uh, pregnancy, control, yeah, tested, that's yeah, going to fuck you up. How are you being irresponsible? Let's I mean, what? I mean, it's up to the person. I'm not saying that it's... Yeah. So, you, the chances of that are slim if yeah. you had 300 bodies and all of them with a condom and that. On top of that, when a woman had... Yeah, we just gonna keep it real. We just gonna... Yeah, yeah. We are gonna just drop the truth on you. You fucked 300 people. You did not use 300 condoms. You're not telling me that. I don't care. You didn't use 300 condoms. <laughs> you probably used 80 of them. You probably used 80 condoms out of 300 times. You let niggas nail it. And you let them niggas nail it more than once. Bodies off the grid. I ain't gonna lie. That was a sex demon. Have a body count. She tends to have other bad habits that come alongside it. I'm not like saying what? Honestly, what? whatever whatever happens from the 300 people that she fucks is her business. Okay, but if I she's a good person that right here, right now, after those 300 people, what does it matter? Because exactly. the point is, is that men don't have to accept <coughs> that business that you're talking then about. Then don't accept it. See, my nigga Waga. I'm glad they got a real nigga on the, on, the, on, the, on the set today. Because he be having a bunch of dweebs. And the rich, rich dweebs and shit. You feel me? Like, for one, the real nigga ain't gonna ask you your body count. Real nigga don't care how much niggas you smash for real. Nigga don't care. Only time it becomes a problem is when you see... When you gotta constantly see niggas you smashing or something. Like, we going out to eat. Oh, yeah. We know them hugs when you giving niggas hugs. Trust me. We know them hugs. We know them hugs when a nigga hit before and when a nigga's a friend. A nigga that, that hit before, they're going to try to hit you with the, the hug like this, like like y'all friends. No, nigga, I know you hit it. I know what's going on. Feel me? That's when it becomes a problem when you see too much of shit like that. I'm not asking no girl how much, time, how much niggas you fuck. I don't give a fuck, man. Just let me hit. <laughs> nah, I'm not saying. Like, that's just what real niggas is thinking, not me. There are many people who will. Okay. okay. That's like how like, well, no, this is how most men think. Okay. I think ultimately how you do one thing is how you do everything. And so if you're a very highly promiscuous person and you don't give much thought into the, the partners and the people you're sleeping with, that's going to echo in your career. That's going to echo in your relationships with your, your values and your virtue as a, a human being. I think that it's really difficult. A real nigga ain't, I fuck what she talking about. A real nigga ain't going to ask you how much niggas you fuck. You feel me? Real nigga not gonna ask you that. I'm just saying, buddy. We not asking that shit. You hear me? Because if a real nigga asks you, I mean, yo, what you ask a bitch how much nigga she fuck? If she tell you 300, she tell you 300, that shit gonna fuck with you. No kizzy. You don't care because you ain't asked, but once you find out, nigga be like, damn. Yeah, nigga might not wanna fuck with you differentiate the two. I think how you do one thing is how you do everything, and it's very telling if you're highly <laughs> promiscuous how that occurs into other aspects of your life. Mm. Also, if you have sex with 300 different men, that's going to leave a mark on you. Mentally, emotionally, you're letting all those men put their I know it's a cringy word, but energy when you let a guy in you, he's putting
putting all whatever he has into you as well. Facts. You know, but that's also all those other people. There's right. also ways to cleanse your energy to leave that in the past. Oh. Huh. just don't do it. I mean, <laughs> isn't that the thing? So, kind of a thing. All right. Well, well, let's say, what about, okay, so you, you said it. You said female, but you think it's because um, society judges them. Yeah. Right, what about you? I don't think there should be any judgment whatsoever on your body count or on his body count. Because uh-huh. at the end of the day, I need somebody today. It doesn't matter what I did yesterday or the day before yesterday or even two years ago. That's my past. If you meet somebody, you should start off as a new clique. Look at Walker. Walker right now. You bugging. <laughs> she bugging. <laughs> if I fucked the nigga yesterday, it don't matter. Like the video though, y'all. Y'all see what that nigga say. Like the video, y'all. Let's get this video them likes up. That's tattoo. That's her shirt. That's her shirt. Can you agree your past can come up to, can come up to haunt you eventually? Oh, 100%. Right. But so, it's your control. So, it's so your control. I'm going to be your man, right? You have a terrible past. Mm-hmm. Future may affect me too as well. Should I be concerned? Yeah. Honestly, okay. if you're trying to be with somebody, you shouldn't even let your past get to you because your baggage should be left at the door when you meet somebody new. Should be, but normally it's not. But that's somebody's pr- That's their problem. Oh, I know. So you think a male's body count and a female's body count are equivalent? Yeah, I don't think that should matter. Okay. Okay. What? All right, what about you? What you guys are asking, um, I feel like a woman, a woman is more affected because we can literally tell you that a body count is one and you still won't believe us, like I said before. That is true. And also, men lie about their body counts and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Facts. Well, which one affects on this shit more negatively than the other one? Women. 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 Like, who cares? Like, I feel like once you meet a person and it's like, this is the person I want to deal with, I don't give a fuck what you did before Evelyn. Like, I give a fuck what's after Evelyn and what you're doing during Evelyn. Hey, you know what? It shouldn't matter that the guy's five foot three. It doesn't matter. 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 It doesn't matter his chances of finding a girlfriend and or dating are going to be hard to do. Shorter men struggle with women. There's so for that. I find it I find it interesting that you know, women are one hundred stop interrupting. <laughs> stop interrupting. You don't need your little random clips, okay? Let me finish my point. If you have something to rebut, that's cool. But stop with the random interjections. I think the only one interrupting. Well, you've just been doing it the most. Yeah, you are now. Okay. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> I find it interesting how men are disqualified by things that they can't control, like maybe their height, maybe they don't make enough money, maybe they're not the most attractive guy. They get disqualified on that. But women are 100% control of their body count, but think that they shouldn't be disqualified for that. Because a lot of you guys are saying it shouldn't matter, and the reality is it does matter. Like, I was subscribed, man. Y'all know what to do. I'm off this. <laughs>